Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another TOA live stream recording. Uh, this is a short one from a longer live stream, but I wanted to isolate this one part. Uh, it was really interesting. I had gotten a question about why the TOA app used its own sort of result class, or what we called like data state or something like that, instead of the Kotlin.result class that comes in the standard library for uh, switching based on success and failure. And I think the reason I had done that in the past was because I didn't fully understand how the Kotlin result class worked, and I thought there was functionality missing from it that I needed in my application, but it turns out there wasn't. So in this live stream, we replace our own result class and end up using the one from the standard library, and so you get to see what that migration looks like, and I hope you find it helpful. So replace result class. So what are we going to do, Raiders? Um, so we have this class in our project called result which is used when we have data requests that could either succeed or fail. And we use a sealed class, which is like an enum in other languages. Um, it's extension of an enum in Java even. Uh, but a sealed class is like, defines different states that something could be in. So this is either success or it's an error. And so if it's success, it means we have some data of whatever generic type we defined. And if it's an error, then we have a throwable that happened. Now, we bring this up because Kotlin has a built-in result class in the standard library that's used to like represent success or failure. And an age-old question of like, if it's in the standard library, why should I write my own? That's just more code for me to have to maintain, right? And we probably don't want to do that. So we talked about it earlier. Someone came in a chat and asked about that. And so I made an issue to record this, but uh, we considered what if we replaced our own result class with the Kotlin result class? What would that look like? Um, so that's what we're here to do. So I've got a couple ways I could do this. I could do this either one data layer at a time, or my favorite way to build things is I'm going to find my result class wherever it was just delete this file and um, let uh, see what fails to compile and then fix it. So let's do that. And that means we could actually probably get rid of, we'll leave this core data module for now, but it probably means we can also just delete the core data module. Um, but we'll leave it for now so we don't have to deal with like Gradle config issues being a problem uh, alongside this, and ta-da, we got our first failure. So, task repository.add task, this returns a result. And so what we're gonna do, oh, it looks like this already, because I removed mine, it looks like it's already defaulting to the Kotlin result. So, uh, what we can do here is, so there's a result.fold method which has an on success and an on failure callback. So here, what we could do is we can call result.fold. Does this return something? Wait, where'd you go? Okay, so this is saying, I see. So when we have success, we return this type. On failure, we return this type. Okay, so what we would do here is we would return result.fold. And so if it's success, we return add task result.success. Otherwise, we return add task result.failure.unknown. And that's it. So instead of a when statement like we had before, we just do result.fold, and then we have our two options here of what we can return. Not too bad. So then, so in this one, uh, so in this one, we're saying this use case in the past, we were saying, we're fetching task, which is some sort of result. And here we're casting it as success, but we're using this uh, 
a safe cast saying like, if it's not successful, just return null. The way we do that with the Kotlin result class is we can just do get or null, which will return that information or it will return null. So here we can remove that data call and basically um, what this really is, is this is um, incomplete task list. And so uh, this incomplete task list could be null or it could be um, the actual value. And so what we do is we then just say, okay, incomplete task list size if we have it or return zero. That's our number of incomplete tasks. Um, so that impl looks good. So let's try to build the app again and let's see what else fails and where else uh, we can fix this problem. Okay. Um, okay, so a couple things going on here. So this is where we fetch stuff from the database. This is our room task repository. And so what this is doing is it's saying, take our task DAO, fetch all the tasks, and then we're mapping them into a result class. So here, we'll just do result.success. Well, really, it's the same thing as before, but they their success is lowercase. So we'll just do the same thing here. We're really doing the same concept that we had previously, but... Um, because this is a function, not like a sealed class, it uses a different naming convention. It's lowercase because we've got a function here. So that's what all that was doing. We just really need to replace that uh, type safe difference there. Uh, same thing here, another one. Do I use data store in this app? Yes. Uh, it's been a while. I'd have to look at the stream history file to see when that was, but yes, we do use data store. Okay, and here's a similar thing as our first change. Uh, instead of a when statement, we'll just do return repo result dot fold. Uh, on success, we'll return well token repository dot store token. Um, well, this is login response. Sir, Suravi, Suravi, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, login response dot token. We'll store that. And then we'll return login result that success. Uh, but on failure, we want to do login result for error. Um, wait, is this actually right? This feels wrong. Um, and we'll pass in that error throwable. And I think this is going to be wrong. Right. So instead, this will take in an error, which will be throwable, and then we'll switch based on that throwable. That's what this does. So this function, not related to the uh, um, result stuff, but this function basically says like when the, based on the specific throwable we get, we return a specific type of login result. All right, let's see what else failed. Also, I love how fast this thing builds. God bless the new M2s, holy crap. Uh, okay, uh, this will be an interesting one. So this use case, um, separate debate on use cases in Android. We're not going to get into that. But what this use case does is it fetches all the tasks for a given date. Uh, so when this is called, this invoke is called with a local date, we have two queries that are made. One, we get all of the incomplete tasks for a given date. And then we get all the completed tasks for a given date. Now, I don't remember why chat talked me into this, because I really think this could have been one query. But uh, this is Flamingo with the new IntelliJ experimental UI. Um, so that's why it looks different. It's the new experimental UI. Uh, so, so this is a little different, because we're saying... Uh, VS Code UI. Uh, it's kind of similar, actually. Um, so, if incomplete is success and complete is success, 
then we do stuff. Otherwise, we return a result of failure. So really, I would look at this a different way. I would say like incomplete path, we can do incomplete dot get or null. Um, and then complete tasks could be complete dot get or null. And what we'll do here is we'll say if incomplete tasks is not equal to null and complete tasks is not equal to null, we'll return result.success with um, incomplete tasks plus complete tasks. All right, we're getting, we're getting close to the number of failures. So now this view model needs to be fixed. Um, similar thing, we'll just replace this when statement here. So we'll do return result.fold uh, on success. We'll do a thing um, on failure. We'll do a thing and we'll just copy this stuff. So that's on success and that's, whoops. This is on failure. And then we just need to clean this up. This is um, task list.partition. That's what we want to do here. Uh, this also probably, do we have test to validate refactor? We definitely will. Um, one step at a time. Uh, cool. So now that the app compiles, which you could say replacing app usages of our result class with Kotlin.result. Vibrant Neon, thank you for the follow. All right, so that push worked. So then what we can also do is we can run uh, Gradle test and we can see which tests are now failing as a result, which will be interesting. I wonder how many that's gonna be. Um, holy crap. Okay, this is because I'm mocking the success stuff everywhere. So watch this. Ready? This maneuver is gonna cost us 50 years. Now, this is gonna be super easy. We're gonna do a coder's favorite thing. We're gonna find and replace. Oh no, okay, hold on. Cause I don't wanna replace all of these. All right, mistakes were made. Um, let's specifically look for ones that are function calls. All right, and let's run the test task again. <laughs> and it continues to fail. We're just going to keep the rain going when we, uh, oh, maybe I won't keep the rain going because that means y'all can't see what I'm doing. Uh, take that back. Um, this is more just, we have to change the concept to what the Kotlin library uses. Let's go into this one. Uh, same thing. We'll replace everywhere that we use result.error with result that. Again, result that failure. And let's look at this file. Similar thing, replace all of these. Of course, it was just one. Why did I read too far into that? Um, this one has a few. And this one becomes failure. Um, run why? Run the test task again. Have you used ChatGPT to generate some Android code for you? I actually have done that once, um, and I was blown away by it. Um, I was going to use it for this app actually. I said like, give me ten like encouraging statements for completing something in your to-do list. 
And then I was like, convert that to an Android strings.xml file. I was like, and then write Kotlin code to randomly display one of those strings. And it was really cool. It worked really well. Um, I didn't need it fast. Uh, so let's also put a note in our stream history file really quick. Um, uh, We did a lot today. Um, so let's get this pull request up. And then I think then if no one else magically decides they want to raid in the next like five minutes, none of you trolls go do it. Um, I'm going to uh, call it after I get this pull request up. We have more builds failing, but I'll worry about those uh, later on. Um, I think UI cleanup was the most recent one, right? Yeah, okay. So replacing result class with standard live Kotlin dot result. So replacing our own field class with what is provided by the standard library. Okay. Which means whatever's happening, this build might fail too, but I'll worry about those off stream. So with that, cheers. We did a lot of fun stuff tonight. That was a good, I guess it was only a two and a half hour stream, but it felt longer. We did a lot tonight. Uh, huge thanks to everyone who came by. So thanks again, Chris, for the raid. I'm going to do another shout out. Jose, Seth, Took, Swoop, Cypher, Fire, Servoy, Servi. Oh my God, it looks like survey, survey, and Vibrant Neon. Thank you for the follows. Um, this channel has been growing so much lately. Last Friday, we hit 1,000 followers, which is just incredibly heartwarming to me. Like, I appreciate everyone who's helped the stream grow. Um, I really believe in what I'm doing and the unique Android education I'm able to provide uh, through these streams. And I'm just glad to see that that's, you know, supported by other people as well. So, um Let's see if we can find someone who is live to go raid. Um, uh, we can always go to Lando, uh, but I want to pass this along to another uh, coding streamer if I can, um, which none of my coding stream friends are live. So we're going to take it to McLando. We're going to go watch some Rocket League. Uh, whoops, not that one. Um, Lando is one of my great friends. He is a professional Rocket League coach and streamer. Uh, Y'all know how much I love Rocket League. One of my side projects here is a Rocket League uh, application. But uh, we're going to pass it over to Lando. I will see all of you this Friday afternoon. I will be back again. And uh, I'm really excited. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, have, a great, have a great week, everyone. We'll see you again soon.